New footage shows this is how Ukrainian FPV drones easily obliterate Russian mercenaries in Abdivka forest. Ukrainian claims this video shows its drones destroying camouflaged Russia bunkers and troops in a forest, the purported attack carried out by troops from Ukrainian Western Military District. The attack operation took place near the city of Kupiansk, in the Kharkiv Oblast, Ukraine, on February 22. It occurred after Ukrainian scouts allegedly detected Russian positions and transmitted their coordinates to the command post. In the footage, one of the teams can be seen moving to the designated area and launching a kamikaze or FPV drone towards unseen targets. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense said in a statement, as a result, all targets were successfully reached, and the unmanned aerial vehicle UAV team returned to the temporary deployment point without losses. Drone operator Ukrainian said, a new enemy bunker was discovered in the forest belt, and we conducted a flight and worked on it with an FPV drone. Ukrainian drone troops use various ammunition, grenades, RPG, carrots, depending on which drones we use and what targets we are working on. Our effectiveness is normal. We try to introduce new things, develop and put them into operation. For our unmanned aerial vehicles, the enemy uses electronic warfare and hunters with anti-drone rifles at observation posts. But we outsmart them, look for ways to fight against it, cope new flight corridors and so on, and we solve everything. Nowadays, Russian war bloggers are mad at Russian military leadership for sending armored vehicles to slaughter, seemingly unprepared for the drone threat. A different management style and different tools are needed, a Russian military blogger wrote on Telegram on Sunday, adding that poor quality of management has been and remains the main scourge that slows down the approach of our victory and leads to unjustified losses. The recent critical commentary comes after footage of a battle on January 30th in which Russia suffered severe vehicle losses emerged. The footage of the fight shows Ukrainian first-person view drones bombarding Russian forces on the ground in Novomikhailivka, Donetsk Oblast along with artillery fire and anti-tank missiles. Other Russian military bloggers have expressed frustration with the outcome of the January 30th battle, according to a recent assessment from the Institute for the Study of War, a U.S. think tank. The fact that armor is now going into battle without electronic warfare is a negligent attitude towards armored vehicles and personnel, a military blogger wrote on Telegram. Until they invent installations that will destroy drones on approach, we need to abandon the idea of deep tank breakthroughs. The same blogger suggested that Russia's military should send fewer armored vehicles and instead, send out more small groups of soldiers onto the battlefield with drone support. Military bloggers have previously slammed Kremlin propagandists for failing to call out Russian military failures, and the bloggers have also criticized commanders for their complete stupidity and incompetence when it comes to being prepared against Ukrainian drones. Reports on the fighting around Novomikhailivka say that in a matter of just a few hours, Russia lost a number of tanks and armored fighting vehicles, with many of them falling to the cheap, exploding FPV drones that dominate the battlefield. Both the Russian and Ukrainian military use loitering munitions and drones, short on ammunition. Ukraine has increasingly used these as supplemental strike options and to improve the accuracy of weapons by, according to some soldiers, up to 250%. Drones have become so prevalent all along the front lines that both Russian forces are finding it difficult to advance forward, and nobody knows how to advance, a drone operator told The Guardian recently. While Russia continues to suffer losses in its war of aggression against Ukraine, as Ukraine's defense forces killed over 900 Russian soldiers and destroyed 24 artillery systems the past day alone. The elimination of 900 Russian troops and the destruction of 11 tanks over the past 24 hours, 
bringing Russia's total military personnel losses to over 392,000 since the onset of its full-scale invasion, the Ukrainian general staff reported on February 22. The Ukrainian armed forces have been effectively destroying Russian troops at roughly the same rate Russia manages to recruit new forces. But Russian forces had suffered over 54,000 casualties in their failed attempts to advance in Ukraine over two months, with the Kremlin losing about 400 soldiers for every square kilometer of territory seized, Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Umarov said on January 23. On the other hand, Ukraine's Special Operations Forces SSO, successfully executed a complex and effective operation, enhancing their operational and tactical position, SSO reported on Telegram on February 8. The specifics of the operation's time and location remain undisclosed, but it focused on overtaking a Russian stronghold situated on a significant elevation, an objective pursued for several months. This meticulously orchestrated operation involved close coordination with other army units utilizing fire support, electronic warfare e, capabilities, and drones, the Ukrainian forces advanced to execute the operation. The effort culminated in the expulsion of Russian troops from the stronghold and the capture of two Russian paratroopers, the SSO reported. Following the operation, Ukrainian forces cleared the enemy position and secured full control over the stronghold subsequently positioning certain defense forces units on the newly acquired heights. SSO shared details about the Special Operations Citadel near the coast of the occupied Crimea on February 6, 73rd Maritime Center of the Special Forces came close to the production platform illegally captured by Russia in the Black Sea and used for enhancing the operation of an Iranian-made Mohajer-6 used for reconnaissance and attacks with Shahed Kamikaze drones on critical infrastructure in southern Ukraine. After special operations and clearing, the facility was mined, the combat team moved to a safe distance and blew up the enemy target, 